Uh, all right, so listen, I'm assuming that most of you are here because you work in the chiropractic industry and you, like me, love what you do. Um, you're excited about uh, helping people attain a higher level of function, a higher level of health, higher level of neurological integrity. Um, and you'd likely want more people to benefit, uh, but you may not actually understand completely how to do that. Um, I'm very, very passionate about our profession, and uh, one of the things that frustrates me is that our profession is not growing. We're actually stuck at about 2% uh, utilization if you look at unique visits. Some people try to tell us it was 10%, but uh, we know that from unique visits, some people come several times a week, that is absolutely not the case, that if we're really looking at a low utilization. Practices are not growing. In fact, there's an unofficial stat right now that 25% of new grads are actually um, uh, leaving the profession within five years. 25%, you guys, right? So we know there's problems uh, in the profession. We know there's problems with how to manifest our uh, most, uh, our, our greatest level of, of, of uh, manifestation in our practices. And there's many reasons for that. My uh, contention or assumption is that one of the reasons is because of improper training and or hiring practices with chiropractic assistants. And that's really why we put this webinar you know, together tonight. Um, again, I'm not so much into volume. I mean, there's some people that see 15, 100 people a week, and that's their ideal. And we certainly have coached people that see 12 and 1,500 a week, and that's their ideal. So you know, numbers are just numbers. But you know, my CAs were very instrumental in my practice. And we saw five to 600 people a week for many, 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 many years uh, with two part-time CAs. And so, you know, CAs are actually really instrumental to the growth of our practices and the growth of this profession. And that's one of the reasons why we wanna share some of the secrets we've got tonight uh, about how to hire and train CAs appropriately so that everybody is uh, getting, um, you know, optimal amount of manifestation of what it is you wanna do in your practice. So I'm making some assumptions here, gang, that you're, uh, have at least one CA in your practice or you're looking to hire one, that that may be one of the reasons that you're here. Other people have told me that uh, you want to see if you can't get your CAs to play a bigger role in growing and managing your practice. I mean, why wouldn't we want to create some leverage in our practice and, and not feel like we're solopreneurs, but we actually have a team that's supporting us? Uh, you know, and I actually feel like that should be a part of the job description to have your CAs, you know, doing this. We're not just looking for a warm butt in the reception chair. We're looking for a, a professional that can help us grow uh, the practice and make a bigger impact on society. I know some people that have talked to me about joining this webinar because they're just, you know, they've seen the contracts, they've seen these cookie cutter training templates, they've watched a few YouTube videos, and it's just not creating the motivated and valued CAs, right? Uh, people that are looking to hire, I know there's several of you on this uh, webinar tonight or watching it recorded, and you know, I just really want to see you avoid the common hiring mistakes. So that's really why we've put this program together. And uh, you know, one of the uh, benefits of being on this program with us tonight is that we wanna see you stop working so doggone hard uh, for things that are just low dollar per hour activities. Um, things that your CAs you know, really could be doing. We're gonna talk a lot about that. And you know, my guess is that you're here to learn the three areas of, uh, of training that are commonly overlooked. Allow your CAs the ability to put more revenue into your practice. So, you know, that's really why we're assuming and based upon the feedback we've got why you people are here and we're certainly looking forward over the next 45 minutes or so helping you get some information and some content on that uh, i know that some people come to webinars and they just watch the first few minutes and then they're you know scanning facebook and twitter and whatever which is entirely your right um, other people are expecting there to be some sort of an offer at the end and there will be there's an opportunity here to get the training that your cas uh, may well deserve so we're encouraging you to stay around tonight because we do have actually some special bonuses to we'd like to offer you. To and, and if you don't have well-trained CAs and you would like to grow your outreach, that we'd like to offer you. So again, we're encouraging you to hang around and watch till the end of the uh, broadcast. For those of you who don't know me, as I said earlier, I ran a very successful practice in a little city called North Bay, Ontario, here in Canada, uh, for many, many, many years, seeing five, six hundred patient visits per week. And I really could not have generated that kind of volume without my staff. Here's my Sharon and Sandra era. You can see how grainy the picture is because, <laughs> quite frankly, this is an old picture. This is before pictures were even digital for heaven's sakes. It's how far back we're going. Been in practice 28 years, graduated from CMCC here in Canada. And uh, I learned a lot about practice outside of the walls of that in particular institution. But what I wanted, the point I want to illustrate you guys is I could not have generated the kind of patient volume I did 
you know, without a great team. Um, here's a picture of our uh, kids day that we did. We had 465 kids through our office that day. Uh, we had firefighters there and policemen and we had clowns and face painters and uh, we did the fingerprinting. It was just a really a grand event. And that was the mayor, you know, signing the proclamation and, and, and cut ribbon cutting. Uh, this program took us months to put together and it made a big impact on our, our, our community. And the only way that that could happen was if I had rock star, you know, CAs. And we've taken all of the systems and training procedures that are designed, acquired and created to run that practice and put it into our full circle Rockstar CA training program, which I'm going to tell you about later on tonight after we get through all of the material I want to share with you. We had a four week waiting list in my practice for many, many years relative to new patients. And again, um, by having my CAs help me build the practice, help me grow the practice, help me educate our community, uh, it allowed me to do what I did really well, which is to you know, serve and adjust my patients and help them get the care that, uh, that they really were looking for. So again, my practice is no different than your practice, gang. I mean, uh, I had the same challenges that you have, and it was a process over time of getting my CAs trained that really helped them to help me grow the business and help me make a bigger impact. And again, what I want to do tonight is share with you many of those um, keys and many of the things that I've learned in my 20-year coach consulting career so that you can shortcut uh, your journey, have your CAs be more effective and impactful, and in the process, we can all touch humanity at a higher level, okay? So, again, by uh, having my CAs there, I was able to do what it was that I really wanted to do, right? See, I really understood the value uh, of my time, and I really wanted to be home for dinner every night with my family, right? So this is a picture, actually, of, uh, of my kids during that era. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got five daughters, and they're the absolute muse of my life. They're the apple of my eye, they're the reason that I do many of the things that I do. And I had office hours that went till six o'clock. And I commonly walked out of the office at, you know, 6.03, 6.05, 6.08, so that I could be home for dinner, so that I could make sure that my children knew that they were the most important thing in my life, that they, uh, you know, I didn't have pictures on them on a nightside stand, so that they, you know, I remembered what they looked like. Because family's my highest value, and your behavior is the only true way to know what it is that you really believe and value. And what kind of a message would it be to send to my family if I said dinner you know, was gonna be at 6.30, which it was pretty much every night of the week, uh, and then I was walking in at 7, 7.15, 7.30, 8 o'clock, which I hear so many docs doing. And it absolutely does not have to be that way, gang, if you have great CAs. So what is it that, 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 that you know, creates this struggle? Why is it that we don't have properly trained CAs in this profession, right? Well, I contend, and we talked about it earlier, but one of the reasons is because many DCs rely on templates and cookie cutter contracts when hiring CAs, assuming that they have a contract at all. And one of my first pieces of advice to you is do never hire, bring on, recruit a team member without a proper contract. One that is customized to the individual situation, that lays out the outcomes assessments, that lays out the, uh, all of the, the, the rules and policies of, of being a member of your team. Um, please do not make that error in judgment, folks. And if you don't have a contract, for heaven's sakes, reach out, get a template, and, and get a contract signed with your team members now. The days of uh, handshakes and making assumptions are just over in this profession, in my opinion, right? There's many important policies and procedures left out of the conversation for taking on the job as a CA. And, you know, it's really not presented as a professional career path, right? But it's just sort of like, yeah, we need somebody to answer the phone and and uh, you know, make appointments and stuff. It's like a reception job. And I contend that that is a huge error in judgment. So my second offering to you tonight is to really look at your CAs as an extension of you, as a look at it as a professional career path, not just a warm butt in the seat to answer phones and do that. Because you know, you're gonna, that's what you're, if that's what you put out, that's what you're gonna get back. And I can tell you that if you wanna have a professional, you need to recruit for professionals, you need to train professionals, and you need to compensate them you know, properly, right? Because whether to throw a written agreed upon set of job duties or what we call uh, outcomes assessments, the CA isn't aware of all the tasks required of a Rockstar CA, right? And so if you don't clearly elucidate what it is they need to do to be great at their job, what outcomes, not responsibilities, what outcomes must be achieved to be great at the job, how could they ever be great at the job? Many entrepreneurs, many chiropractors are guilty of not clearly elucidating to their team members um, you know, what it takes to be great team members. And so as a result of that, they're, you know, quite frankly, they're just not great team members. And so why would we not want to uh, clearly elucidate what those 
uh, outcomes need to be in order to ensure that we get the rock stars that we, you know, that we really deserve and want to have, right? I can tell you uh, this backfired on me one time though, this is a little picture of this plumber guy here. We had a terrible smell in the clinic and uh, I was not to be disrupted when I was in flow adjusting people. And Sandra came out one time with a uh, plunger over her shoulder. She goes, hey doc, I'm, I've checked. It's not on my outcomes. I don't plunge toilets. Johnny just hooked a big three pound turd in the toilet, plugged it all up. Not my job. I guess it must be yours. And uh, <laughs> on she went with her day. Well, I can tell you, it's not my job necessarily either. And I learned real quickly that uh, there is a sharp side to having outcomes and a properly trained staff, right? So you want to get clear on all of that stuff before you ever sign a contract because, uh, you know, ignorance is bliss. And, you know, I can tell you one time I was lecturing in Philadelphia and I had a doc there who told just an absolute horror story because there wasn't outcomes, there wasn't good training, he didn't do a good recruiting process. And as a result of that, he came out of his reception area, or out of, sorry, his adjusting area, into his reception area on uh, the second day that his new CA was there. And I guess somebody was talking about the headache that they were having. And she's walking around the reception area handing out Advil, okay? And you know, I don't know what jurisdiction you practice in, but in most of the jurisdictions in, in the world, uh, handing out pharmaceuticals is not part of the scope of practice. And this guy was just absolutely horrified. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say it served him right, but without proper training, without proper uh, recruiting, without proper outcomes and clearly defined outcomes of what needs to be achieved, you know, these are the kinds of uh, horror stories that you can actually, you know, get up. I think one of the other things that comes up that I run across a lot of times in my coach consulting work is docs don't appreciate their CAs. They don't appreciate what an amazing uh, uh, job they do. They don't appreciate the amount of revenue that they create for the company, for the practice. And, uh, you know, when you do that math, and I'll show you how to do that math uh, later in the, in the, in the uh, webinar, you'll appreciate them a lot more and they're going to do a better job because they're going to be appreciated and compensated properly for the great role that they play. Your CAs could be, should be, will be, if you do proper training, uh, revenue generators in your clinic. They're not just somebody answering phones, but they're actually building revenue in your clinic because they're helping you educate and other things we're going to talk about here, right? So there's a lot of moving pieces throughout the day. And, you know, I find a lot of docs are taking on responsibilities that should be in the hands of their teams, right? You're the only one. You went to university for years to learn how to do, you know, specifically two things in almost every uh, legislative jurisdiction in the world. You're the only one who gets to assess or diagnose and adjust. Anything else and everything else in the clinic could be shared or delegated to someone else. So if you're doing these really low dollar per hour activities, right, then, then expecting to get uh, a greater results, you know, again, you're not leveraging yourself. Here's a picture of me in Dallas doing a talk that I did called uh, on Superman syndrome, which if you take this to extremes, that's what happens. People end up being like super person. They've got the, the goofy blue tights and the red cape, and they're just taking on everything on their own. They're not delegating, they're not assigning, they're not training. And, and then they're wondering why they're not making a bigger impact on humanity. They're wondering why their practice isn't growing, why they're struggling from month to month to pay the bills. Well, because you're likely doing things that you shouldn't be doing that is not the highest and best use of your time. Most docs I've ever talked to um, do not, did not go to university for all the years that we all did in order to you know, answer phones, do recalls, uh, change the, the the waste paper baskets, empty those, you know, all of that kind of stuff, right? And as I pointed out to Sandra that day, uh, I didn't go to university to plunge toilets either, right? So again, be clear on that. So here's something that I'm going to encourage you to do if you want to do an analysis and see, you know, where you're spending your time is do a time study. Take a week and in half hour grids, just take it at lunch and at dinner time and then at the end of the night and just do in half hour grids. What did you do over the course of that day? And then analyze it and say, are these things high dollar per activities or low dollar per activities? And anything you're doing that either doesn't completely inspire you, so I would call that priceless, or something you're doing that you could delegate to someone else and have someone else do, it's basically costing you money to, to do those tasks. And if you're not willing to let go of those, if you're not willing to let go of the red cape and the blue tights, the super person syndrome uh, thing that I talked about earlier, then you're likely creating for yourself a lower dollar per hour minimum wage lifestyle. Right. When you see the dollar value, the task you perform, you see could be doing, it's going to make it a lot, lot easier to delegate. So please jot that down as a note. Do a time study. Do it. Start it tomorrow. See where you're using your time. See what you could delegate and then either train your CAs to do that. Hire a trainer to, to, to do that stuff uh, and get your headspace wrapped around the ability to 
um, you know, to, to get other people to help you and to delegate those tasks, right? So here's an example, right? If you're generating $300 per hour, which many, many, many DCs are, and some are generating a lot more, but we just use this as an average, and you could be paying someone $20 an hour, it's costing you $280 to do the same thing that they can do, right? Whether you're talking about your CA, you're talking about cutting your grass or shoveling your snow, right? I haven't cut my own grass for over 25 years because it doesn't inspire me to cut my grass. I like the effects of fresh cut grass. I like the pride of ownership. I like the smell. I like all of that stuff, but I do not love to cut it myself. So I could, I could cut it. Obviously, I have the ability to do that. But when my time is worth hundreds of dollars per hour and I could pay somebody else 12, 15, 20 bucks an hour, I'm losing money to do those low dollar per hour activities. So let's get that little piece of nomenclature, you know, through uh, uh, tonight, you guys. And let's see if we can't let go of some of these things that are not the highest and best use of our time. As a matter of fact, if you're into mantras, which are just, you know, word affirmations and, you know, jot that down. What is the highest and best use of my time? And I can tell you that doing some uh, mundane tasks that you could be delegated out to your, to your staff or that you could hire staff to do are not the best use of your time. Bill Gates was masterful at this at Microsoft. Every day he looked at his, his uh, meeting list and he looked at his emails and anything that he felt he could train or hire somebody else to do, he let go of. And it's one of the reasons he built the massive corporation you know, that he built. Okay. So here's our offering, right? Hopefully it's transparent, but your CA needs to be and can be a profit generator in your clinic. And there's at least three things that we're gonna talk about here that your CA can do in your office. Number one is to increase revenue. We're gonna teach you how to do that. Number two uh, is to uh, leave you with more time for marketing and or adjusting, right? And by the byproduct of doing that, create more time for yourself and your family. Because if you're doing those lower dollar per hour activities, right? then it's, it's not the best use of your time to keep doing those things. And you're not only just not generating the impact on humanity you could and or generating the revenue you could, you're likely also robbing your family of some, of some time, some really high quality time. So again, I'm, and we're really hoping that you'll take to heart some of the things that we're talking about tonight. And let's not just talk, think about your time, your own personal time for hobbies and projects and sports and so on. So again, I, I really don't see a, uh, a value, you guys, to uh, not having a properly trained CA to help you grow your practice, right? And by you being willing to let go of the super person suit uh, will allow you, you know, the opportunity to delegate more things and train them and train them and retrain them and keep training them to ensure that they get what it is uh, that they know they should be and could be doing, okay? So I'm not only gonna show you how to increase your practice revenue and how to increase the confidence of your CAs, but also how to enhance your company culture and the brand that is your practice. Whether you're aware of it or not, you have a culture, you have a brand. And protecting that and growing that and enhancing that builds trust in your community. So that when Mrs. Jones is talking to Mrs. Smith at the Bridge Club and they find out that they're both seeing you and they have very similar experiences, it enhances trust, which increases referrals, right? I want to show you how to turn their job into a career and how to free up your time, okay? Those are some of the things that we want to do. By doing that, we're going to reduce the mental clutter in your mind that distracts you from being fully present with your patients and or your family. Those are the things that we want to go over tonight. Those are the things we want to share with you. We want you to take away from this. If that's a good use of your time, please keep watching um, and uh, listening. And if for whatever reasons you don't want to increase your impact in humanity, you don't want to free up your time, you don't want to have more time with your family, you don't want to have more time to yourself, uh, you don't want to have a professional helping you grow your business, then please just <laughs> go back to a scrolling Facebook. So the, here's some realities, gang. Our average CA lasts only about two years in the industry. And, you know, our offering is the high turnover uh, practices may neglect investing in proper training in order to save money. But the only thing worse than training someone who leaves is not training someone and then they stay, right? Let me say that again. The only thing worse than training someone who leaves is not training someone and they stay. It is just not a wise uh, choice. But again, you know what? Don't panic, right? Because there are solutions, there are answers to this, right? Don't forget that people care about who you have behind the front desk. They're very appreciative of the skill sets your CA brings to the table, right? They're, they're uh, um, inspired by having professionals back there who take their jobs seriously, 
right? Underperforming and uninspired CAs will add to your patient's stress level and in my opinion, quite frankly, subluxate them further. People want to be cared for by passionate, caring professionals, not just by you, but by your team. They don't want disinterested and unappreciated receptionists. They can tell the difference. They can feel the energy difference uh, you know, in, in the office. And in my opinion, it adds to the healing consciousness, right? It raises the bar in their own life for a standard of excellence. Well, and here was my story in my practice, you guys. I wanted to ensure that if for some reason somebody came in the office and they just, our systems let us down and they didn't get to get checked and or uh, adjusted that day, that they had a healing experience, right? That they interacted with the staff, uh, they, had a, uh, they were given a kind word, caring conversation. Uh, if they came in with children, which our practice was very much into pediatric care, they were, the babies were, 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 were kissed and, and cuddled, right? They were taking an interest in people's lives. They asked them about the kids. They asked them about their spouse. They asked them about their job, right? That's healing intent. That's healing, loving energy. And that is a part of, in my opinion, a strong and important part of the healing journey that people are on in our practices. You don't get that from somebody that's just there to answer the phones and book appointments. You get that from a properly trained professional that you advocate for, you support, you create a proper contract, you create a proper outcomes assessment, and you train them and train them and train them. Or you hire somebody to train them because, as you'll see, I'm not 100% sure that it is the best use of our time to be training our staff repeatedly when there's professionals you could hire for literally pennies on the dollar. Okay? So let's get into it. The top three areas of training that are commonly overlooked that will allow your CA to put more revenue into your practice. Okay? Recalls. It is surprising to me, right, how many docs are still playing around with recalls, doing some of or all of their own recalls, right? I've never met a doc in all my 20 years of consulting that actually enjoys recalls. They just see it as a necessary evil. And even if they're delegating this out to their staff, do their staff have proper training? Do they have proper scripting? And are they in that, that uh, place of exchange where they know that they're, you know, designed and helping and part of their role is to help grow the practice? help impact humanity and educate humanity. Um, that's, a, that's a very tall order to fill. And in my experience, most docs don't do that. When your CA does the recalls, it creates more time for you to do other marketing or business activities to help grow the practice, right? Recall patients are already know the value of chiropractic. They just need reminding. Saying the right thing will let them know that you care, and this creates patient retention and referrals, right? Statistically, a person that buys from you once is 11 to 17 times more likely to buy from you again. So again, the strategy of recalls is solid in terms of that buying piece, um, but the challenge is that it's not the best use of a DC's time, and CA that are doing it, if they don't have the right mindset, the right energy, and the right training, they're probably not gonna be doing it well, and it's just a hassle, and it actually can push people away from your practice, right? Because again, a database of inactive clients is like a gold mine of revenue in a practice, right? So again, recalls, very important. Another piece that's really important, please jot it down if you're a note taker, chiropractic knowledge, the science and the business behind it. The more your CA understands chiropractic lingo, the more uh, they can feel confident talking to patients, both current and potential. And I would offer in my experience now, all these years of coach consulting work, that it's, it's confidence and certainty really makes a difference in terms of how much impact the doc and the CA has on the practice members. Because again, 93% of human communication is non-verbal. It's not the words we're saying, you guys. It's the, it's the energy and the, the certainty and confidence behind the words. So if you're not training your staff, your team members, in, in the knowledge of science and philosophy of chiropractic, in my opinion, you're, you're missing out on a tremendous opportunity. Because the more you see understands about it, the better they're, the more confidence they're going to have in, in uh, addressing the patients. And the education process then in the office can be shared. It's not just resting on your shoulders, but it's also shared by the CAs in your practice, right? They're going to understand uh, how the testimonials happen and the case studies and share, you know, all of those miracles that we see every day, every week in our practices. And they're going to feel confident about talking to it. You know, CAs didn't go to, to university for all those years. They don't necessarily have that knowledge base that, that docs have. And they often feel intimidated to share things unless we train them, unless we educate them and re-educate them and re-educate them so that they can uh, feel confident and certain in, in their knowledge. People don't want to make mistakes. They don't want to say something wrong. They don't want to scare people away. And so they're hesitant to do that unless you empower them. And giving them the knowledge on the science and philosophy of chiropractic is there. 
Uh, one of the things that my, uh, let's put a shameless plug in for Chris Kent and, uh, and Pat and Tibbles on Purpose CDs uh, or, or digital uh, services, audio services, because our, our CAs used to listen to the science, the politics, and the philosophy every month. And it was a great way to help increase their knowledge and uh, show them that we cared because we're investing in their, their knowledge base. Okay. CAs Inspired is going to share all this stuff and they're going to encourage people uh, to refer their friends in. It's going to uh, help them to uh, increase the retention in the practice because people are going to get it at a whole other level, right? You know, and also, too, does your CA know your practice mission and vision? You know, it's really helpful for the whole team to know exactly where everyone is going. So, investing in your CAs, it hopefully, is just pretty transparent, but it's also very, very, very wise. Okay. Also, I'm encouraging you to, in, in, to get your CAs involved in your marketing plan, assuming that you have one. And again, this is a huge error in judgment if you're not, you can either plan to fail or fail to plan. Either way, you end up in the same place. If you don't have a marketing plan, please get one. Please create one. Uh, our website is chock full of ideas and, 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 and structure for how to create a one-year marketing plan. If you already have a coach, for heaven's sakes, ask your coach. But involve your, your CAs in that process of marketing and sharing the message. It's going to empower them. It's going to take, help them take psychic ownership of the business. And you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much they're going to help uh, grow your practice. Okay? One of the things, the policies in my office, which I'm going to encourage you to do in yours, is that we made it mandatory that every team member would share or add one marketing idea, one troubleshooting idea in every Monday morning team meeting. And again, another piece of training advice, you guys. Hopefully you're doing meetings and you're doing weekly meetings with your team to help empower them, train them, grow them, and help grow the business through marketing ideas and so on, okay? Also, too, empower your staff by sharing the financials. It surprises me at how many docs um, really don't share the, the ins and outs of the business with them. They're afraid their staff might know. They're all uh, reserved about their finances. Trust me, your CAs know how much money comes into the practice. But what they might not know is how much it costs to run the practice. And so by sharing the financials with them, it lets them know how much it costs to run the business. And this increases trust and buy-in. And more likely, your CA can help you find ways to you know, spot the leaks in the, in, in the faucet and, uh, and, and help you minimize those expenses to help make it more profitable. As we talk about CA bonuses here in a few minutes, uh, if your CA has a bonus and has some skin in the game relative to the practice, they're going to want to decrease the expenses because it's going to help increase the profits. And if they're in a profit-sharing situation, then it's going to uh, obviously be good and a win-win for everybody. Okay? It's scarcity the conscience that holds back anyone from sharing their finances. They know anyways. So just empower them. Show the trust and watch the buy-in increase, okay? Clear that block, and it's amazing how, amazing how much it can be. Speaking about empowerment and confidence, let's talk about how to empower your CAs, right? Well-trained CAs literally run healthcare classes. They're a big part of the education protocol, and if you're not doing some form of a doctor's report or healthcare demonstration or healthcare class, you're missing out on a great opportunity to educate. But this is not something, it's not necessarily the highest and best use of your time as a DC. Right? Well-trained CAs can do this themselves. Right? It, it gives third-party endorsement to the things that you're saying. And quite frankly, it's a high school or lower-level presentation. You don't need to be you know, uh, wowing people with big words and, and you know, all the Latin we learned at university and physiology and anatomy. Right? It's a basic education presentation that can be uh, given by your CAs. And it's amazing because they see it from a different place and they speak about it from a different place. It's amazing how well-trained CAs will actually help get more families under care in your practice. But you've got to empower them. You've got to train them. You've got to give them the confidence to do that, right? Because when they generate more new business, it's a win-win situation, particularly as we talk about bonuses uh, in, in a little bit, okay? Also, too, and the thing that's really come into vogue in the last few years, of course, is, is reputation, all right? And it's the reputation marketing. It's something that takes years to develop and can only take minutes. Uh, your community needs to know how much your patients love your services by getting them online where new prospective patients are looking. And just as we said, the, the, the CA doing the healthcare demonstration gives third-party endorsement to everything you're educating about. Uh, getting third-party endorsement from your uh, practice members, your patients, is also extremely powerful. And more and more people all the time are just, you know, they're not even looking at the information that's on the websites and in social media. What they're looking for are those reviews. So a great CA 
uh, are going to help you know collect reviews and testimonials. And the act is insurance against a bad review, right? They know how to to support you. They know how to keep more business in. And really, it's, testimonials and reviews are security and insurance against a bad review because those do occasionally you know crop up, right? One of the things also as you empower and train your CAs, we've discovered through our mystery shopper call service that many CAs are happy to cancel appointments really, really easily. Just, oh, you don't want the appointment anymore? Oh, okay, well, thanks for calling and, uh, you know, have a great day. When Rockstar CAs have the intent to keep the business and learn effective scripting to turn those cancellations into reschedules. And, again, empowered Rockstar CAs know how to do that and are happy to do that. All right, so we talked a little bit about uh, bonuses and we talked about the the value of that so let's let's look at some options here an option and my favorite option is to get your CAs on a percentage of revenue profit sharing model okay right I really think that um, uh, paying someone whether you're paying them ten dollars an hour or a thousand dollars an hour I think it's just an insult to pay people on an, on an hourly basis how, how can we say that someone's time is worth X amount of dollars per hour? Time is the most valuable commodity that we have. And I just think that those, uh, you know, if you look at the history of dollars per hour, it came out of the sweatshops, you know, back in, in Europe, back in many, many, many years ago. And it was a way to, again, then it was pence or cents per hour. But again, it grew from that um, really sort of lords over peasants type mentality. And I really think it's an unwise way to continue to motivate people, right? My CAs are paid a percentage of revenue. And they, their, uh, basically their salaries were tied to the positive outcome of each chiropractic adjustment. You know, this caused them to show up to work on time, and they're happy, they're excited, and knowing that they were influencing and or in control of their paycheck. So again, we, we, the way to do that is, uh, in the industry average in chiropractic right now, is your average uh, human resource cost for delivering uh, chiropractic service, in other words, your assistance, costs between 15 and 18% of revenue. So you can look at your total uh, collections last year, look at your total out costs for your human resources, for your assistance, and then you can do the math through and see what the percentage is. And it should be between 15 and 18%. Some offices higher because they really want to have rock stars and they pay them accordingly. Uh, but if it's a lot less, you're probably not in fair exchange with your staff. So if your, you know, your billings were 200,000 and you're, you're paid your CA you know, 20,000, then you know, you're at 10%. So when you go to a percentage of revenue model, it's pretty simple to look at historically what it's been and then just peg it at that. What's genius about that is that as the practice grows, they automatically get a bonus. They automatically get a raise. You don't have to worry about that stuff. It's built into the model. It's a way, way, way better model, right, to help them build the practice, right? Now, again, that's not something I just wanted to touch on that. It's, it's a whole different consulting coaching package we offer, but hopefully you can see the difference that it would make in terms of the uh, motivation of your CA. So here's some questions to ask yourself at this point, right? How many recalls do you have on your to-do list as, as a doc? And what is the dollar value of even 10% of those clients reactivating? And I challenge you, I contend that if you're doing this doc or you have improperly trained CAs, you're missing out on an absolute gold mine of human service and also revenue in your clinic. And how much stress does doing recalls cause for you or your staff because there isn't proper training? How long has it been since the recalls were last dealt with? How many cancellations have just disappeared that a rock star CA would not have allowed to leave the office without at least some more education, right? A lot of questions to ask yourself here as we think about um, you know, what impact your CA has on your office and your ability to serve humanity and your bottom line. Does your CA radiate positive energy throughout the day or are they just basically a seat warmer, right? Does your CA passionate about chiropractic in your business because they're trained, they're empowered, they're treated like the professional they are, and they're compensated accordingly, right? Do you, do you and your CA have a professional relationship based on trust, respect, and honesty, or is it just, again, a seat warmer and it's just become like a, a casual friendship? So look at uh, what I hope I've done is helped you understand the value of CAs in a chiropractic office. I hope I've helped you um, give you some ideas for ways that they could increase revenue uh, directly into your practice and increase your impact on humanity by having them take over recalls and have them be properly trained, by empowering them and uh, compensating them properly, by creating bonus structure or percentage of revenue models, and by teaching them you know, chiropractic terminology 
and uh, uh, philosophy. I mean, these are all pretty important pieces of the puzzle, but it really all starts with a mindset, you guys, right? And so I appreciate your time, you know, to this date, and I hope you found this part of the training valuable. And what I'd like to do is to really just move into looking at um, what options are available with, uh, uh, with training to see how we could help get a better trained CAs. By having better trained CAs, we're going to grow our individual impact um, to the culture. Uh, we're going to impact more lives. We're going to get uh, more people under care, and you're going to create more revenue as a byproduct. So let's just see where your office is at. I want you to do a little quiz. So if you've got a piece of paper, uh, please jot these down. And I want you to score each one of these uh, eight things I'm going to bring up on the screen in uh, out of 10. So, you know, zero or one means it just sucks in your practice, or 10 is like it's, it's rock solid in your practice. And let's create a little scoring metric to see how well of a job you're doing with your CAs in your particular practice, okay? So we discussed why you should have detailed, written, and agreed upon outcomes assessments for your CA that clearly lets them know how to be great at the role. So do you have properly defined outcomes, not job responsibilities? It's not Mary's responsibility to answer the phone. The outcome in my office was to answer the phone by the fourth ring with a smile on your face every time and say very clearly, Preston's Family Chiropractic, how may I be of service? Okay? So again, score yourself. You've got great outcomes assessments that are trained. Give yourself a 10. Obviously, if you're partially there, give yourself like a 5 or something. Uh, if you have not got outcomes, give yourself a 0. We also talked about how... Um, you know, important it is to help treat them like the professional that they are, not just the receptionist that answers the phone and books appointments, but truly a professional that's on your team. People care about the professionals that are in your office. And are, are you really good at communicating that to them and empowering them and expressing your gratitude to them? If you do a great job at that, 10, obviously some variation between that and zero if you're not doing a great job. Number three, we talked about the value of your time and why you literally cannot afford to continue doing low dollar per hour activities, okay? So if you're doing a lot of low dollar per hour activities that aren't involved with building the business through marketing or educating your clients or educating yourself or training your team, it's likely not stuff that you should be doing, okay? So again, rate yourself from one to 10 on, on or zero to 10 on that metric of how much, how many activities you're doing that are low dollar per hour activities. Recalls. We talked about recalls and why your team should be making those calls and could probably be doing them better than you can. If, if they're doing them, how much training have you given them? So if you're doing them, give yourself a zero. If your staff's doing them, give yourself a five or six. If they're doing an awesome job because they've got great training on it and it's an important part of your uh, you know, strategy for building your business, then give yourself a 10. We discussed sharing the knowledge of carpentry science and philosophy to be a better assistance to your patients and answer their questions, right? If you do an awesome job at educating them about that, give yourself a 10, obviously right down to a zero. We discussed sharing the insider secrets of your practice, like the financials. If it's something you do, give yourself a 10. And if you have regular team meetings on a monthly basis to see what your growth is, uh, you have an annual general meeting, a planning meeting. In my office, we used to have a two-day meeting to plan the next year out. If you've got that sort of structure, give yourself a 10 and congratulations. If not, score yourself somewhere lower than that. And finally, what we'd like to do is to, uh, we know that confidence and empowerment go in the expansion of your practice and to motivate your CAs, ready to manage and, and empower and explode your practice. So if you are doing a great job at empowering your CAs and motivate them and, and otherwise, then give yourself a 10. If not, give yourself something less than that, right? And also to a bonus system. Well, make sure that you have some sort of bonus inspiration and exchange system in your office. If you do, it works well, your team's inspired and go-getters, give yourself a 10. If not, give yourself obviously something less than that, write down. If you have no bonus system in your office, give yourself a zero, okay? So again, what I want you to do now is I want you to add up those scores, okay? And see where, they, where you rate. If you got somewhere between 0 and 20, in my opinion, your team and or practice is on life support. <laughs> you need some help, and your CAs need the support that they deserve as professionals. If you're in the 20 to 40 range, your team's getting crisis care, but I'm guessing the band-aid keeps falling off. Uh, and 40 to 60, if you scored in that range, your team is in need of a substantial adjustment, but there is hope for a quick improvement. And if you scored in the 60 to 80 range, you and your team are doing so many things right, you should just be congratulated 
and possibly with a little wee bit of tweaking, they could become rock stars. So again, a way to evaluate where you and your team are at this point. And uh, I hope you chose to take the time to score each one of those uh, eight metrics that we were uh, just looking at, okay? So my hope is that by now you see the value to growing your practice, you train the motivated CAs, and that you're going to trust me to provide you with a solution. Or else, quite frankly, why would you be on the uh, webinar this long? Um, our mission at Full Circle is to awaken individuals to the power of authentic expression and help them realize their full potential personally and professionally. This is not just for dogs, gang, right? But this is for the CAs, the office managers, the tech CAs, the RMTs, spouses, everybody involved in the equation of you realizing your full potential. And that's why we basically put this package together for you. It's something we've been working on now for a while, and uh, we want to talk to you about the uh, solution that we could offer you. So again, one of the problems here is time. We talked about the value of CA training, but you know, if you want to focus on running and building a great practice, uh, my offering to you to consider is that you don't have much time left to train your staff, right? You want to sit down with your CAs and teach them a synopsis of your chiropractic education. That takes time. It takes time to develop policies and protocols, to create scripts for new patients, to role play scenarios. It takes a significant amount of time. And as I said earlier, if you look at the dollars per hour you can generate in your clinic, it's in the hundreds of dollars per hour range. If you could train, if you could get a professional CA trainer to do that for pennies in the dollar, it's a great economic decision to have someone do that. Because see, I knew my time as a practicing DC was worth much more than adjusting, uh, by adjusting the patients than it was training my staff. I was the bottleneck and I knew that if I was, things were going to flow properly, that I had to have properly trained CAs. I just knew that even though uh, uh, I wanted to have trained CAs and motivated talent, I knew that I was not necessarily the person to do that, right? So as a result of that, right, um, we have developed here at Full Circle a, a, a and hired and trained some really excellent CA trainers. Because, you know, I consider myself to be an excellent coach and trainer. I've been at it 20 years, thousands and thousands of clients, testimonials all over YouTube and the internet. But I'm way better coaching the docs and business owners, right, who have the biggest impact. The next biggest impact is in the chiropractic uh, assistance. And that's why we have two full-time CA trainers to help uh, train the staff to be um, the best that they could be because that's going to create impact on your practice uh, almost as big as the impact that you can uh, create in your practice. So we have our carpet assistant training program that we've been developing testing over the last nine months and you know you may even feel like your CAs are doing a pretty good job and they don't need uh, what I'm going to share but let me emphasize how much revenue you may be missing out on by not having your CAs professionally trained. Right? Let's just do a little wee bit of math here again, okay? Typical adjustment is worth $50. Uh, if you're seeing somewhere between 8 and 16 patients an hour, that's $400 to potentially, you know, $800 per hour. And, uh, you know, with the way our CA trainers work, literally a couple of hours of your time <laughs> can pay for an entire six-month program, an entire six-month program by professionally trained CAs, right? So... You know, when you look at the, the return on investment, which is a smart business owner, you should be looking at when you're looking at professional CA training, right? You can look at some things that you could be letting go of and that you could be getting your CAs trained on. So these are some things that we've talked to many docs about that they're doing that they could uh, be letting go of. Recalls we already talked about. Uh, we also talked about educating or chatting with patients, right? Uh, we talked about nerve scans and other technical tests. These are things that your assistants, you know, could be doing. Processing x-rays performing, you know, report of findings partially or, or, or fully, uh, doing progress reviews, sharing office procedures and policies with patients. This is not the best use of your time, doctor. We really got to let go of some of this stuff. Sharing financial procedures and policies with patients are definitely things your CAs could be doing. Running healthcare classes. We talked about that in depth earlier in this training. Ensuring patients feel like they belong and can ask questions throughout the care. Not just you. Sometimes I find that practice members or patients will ask, uh, your assistants questions that they won't ask you just because you know they don't want to look silly they they don't want to feel disempowered they, they think that might be not a great question and they'll say things to your assistants that they just won't say to us and that's fine as long as you have empowered and educated CAs that can answer the questions intelligently uh, again obviously just creating an environment is very important uh, relative to what your CAs can do 
performing intake questionnaire duties or even doing some functional movement tests underneath your supervision, like functional posture picks or SAM unit testing or whatever. I mean, there's just a bunch of stuff that your CAs can and or should be doing in your practice to increase your ability to have more time with your family, more time with your hobbies and sports, uh, increase your revenue, and make a bigger impact on humanity. So here's what we're going to teach your CA. Scripting, right? Anybody can pick up a phone and make a call, but with a bit of magic and proper scripting that is practiced and believed in and role-played, it becomes second nature. So you get more new patients booked, increases revenue. Special appointments flow with ease. Patients get the big idea, stay longer, refer their families and friends. More impact, more revenue. Properly trained CAs, recalls get scheduled and patients continue care, which increases your PVA. More volume, more service, more impact, and more revenue, which in my opinion is not a bad thing. Missed and canceled appointments get rescheduled. More revenue. Proper scheduling for office flow, avoid time jams. You know that in social psychologists have validated to me beyond a shadow of a doubt, the number one reason people leave your office is waiting time. And the magic number, you guys, is 15 to 20 minutes. People are waiting more than 15 to 20 minutes in your office. They're ticked off. They're pissed off. They just may not be saying anything. Properly trained CAs are definitely going to keep the office flow going. Walk-ins and call-ins convert to pre-scheduled appointments. Financial and office policies um, are, are, that can be shared and ev ed educated on with your, uh, t with your uh, patients uh, gives focus and clarity, right? Terminology, education, giving that certainty uh, gives your, your uh, CA the empowerment they need to be able to share it. And here's some questions to ask yourself, right? Can your CAs explain to a new patient what a subluxation is or what the three T's are, traumas, toxins, and thoughts? Can they explain it in an easily understandable way? Can they talk about prevention of subluxation of nerve interference to help keep your patients uh, happy and healthy? Can they describe a subluxation to a child? Do they know the different parts of the spine? Do they understand how the nerve system works? Can they explain what innate intelligence is? if that's a part of your uh, education process, which in my practice, it was a big part. Can they explain the three phases of care, right? And what the different phases are, why you might be graduating from this phase to that phase, whether it's initial intensive care, reconstructive or, or release care or wellness care, right? Can they answer the tough questions like, why do I have to keep coming back? Or my all time favorite, once you go to a chiropractor, you always have to go to a chiropractor. These are things that, uh, your patients are asking on a regular basis, right? And are your CAs trained and are they giving good, intelligent answers for that? Can they explain the rigorous education we all went through? Can they explain the value of diagnostic tests like x-rays and nerve scans and posture scans and the value of their care to the practice member and their family? Do they know how to handle the different excuses for canceled missed appointments? And do they know how to rebook? With proper training and scripting, they can do that. Now, is your CA a seat warmer, just answering the phone and booking appointments? Uh, or are they a rock star? Are they doing all of that plus helping you build the practice, helping make it an impact on humanity? I don't know of a person on planet Earth. I have never met a person on planet Earth that wouldn't benefit from at least being checked chiropractically to increase, the, decrease their symptoms, increase their function, increase their ability to be as whole and complete as they can be. And yet, we're not, many docs are not touching the lives that they could touch. One of the reasons, improperly trained CAs, which is why Full Circle now has a CA training division, which is what we're talking about now. Being creative and, and, and creating marketing strategies, doing nerve scans, we, we've talked about this stuff. I want to just em empower you to consider the value of your CAs so that you will train them properly, educate them properly, empower them, and compensate them properly. Assisting patients with the intake questionnaires, performing regular recalls, being educated in other alternative healthcare info to provide lifestyle support so that people don't get you know, in trouble, don't get subluxated. Talking to patients while they're waiting and funneling the conversation to a health and wellness mindset. When I do in-office consults around the world, it's amazing how many times I hear the CAs talking about the weather, the local sporting team, you know, just that kind of stuff. And it's not that it's a problem to do that stuff, but to do that stuff exclusively and not to funnel the conversations back into health and wellness, that is an error in judgment. That is an improperly trained CA that's not helping grow the practice. And of course, upgrading policies and procedures. I mean, you know, there's so many things. Your CA is empowered, they own their space, they share the story, and they're willing to help you build it uh, to offer suggestions for improvements all the way through your office. 
I've also found the confidence that comes with that increase the likelihood that you know CAs are going to stay. I estimate that it costs approximately fifteen thousand dollars in lost revenue to replace a CA in today's day and age. And the reason why? Negative energy in the clinic, lack of familiarity, cause people to be less likely to rebook. They don't feel as comfortable. They don't refer. They don't pay. Uh, there's a lot of negative energy that comes with that. Plus the cost of retraining somebody where you're duplicating your, your CA cost for a period of time as you're going through training. It's an expensive thing from a financial standpoint, not to mention the emotional distress that it costs to replace a CA. When you train them, when you empower them, the likelihood of them staying is so much higher, right? Because again, let's look at this from a, a compensation standpoint. We talked about how you should be paying them. And you know, there's an old saying that says, if you pay with peanuts, you only attract monkeys, right? If your CA is challenged and busy and educated and empowered, right, it feels like a career rather than a job. And are they going to stay longer? I mean, let's look at this from a, a patient standpoint. Does the educated or uneducated chiropractic patient stay longer? I think we all know the answer to that. An invested in and empowered CA is going to definitely increase the probability they're going to stay with you for a long time. I think that both the CAs and the docs, we talked about this throughout this webinar, you guys, I think that everybody should be educating the CAs, but if you don't have them properly trained, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to do that or do that effectively, okay? And let's look at some of these things we've talked about, increasing PVA, increasing new patient referrals and so on. A case average represents the average amount of revenue a client leaves in the clinic over the lifetime of their care. And when we calculate this at full circle, it runs between usually between $500 and $3,500. Some people come once, never come back. Some people come for 20 years. What's the average, average, average? Well, it's your numbers of new clients uh, multiplied um, by your average, or sorry, your PVA multiplied by your patient, by your uh, average fee. So again, runs between $500 and $3,500 in most uh, offices. The longer you help them see the value of staying under care, the more likely that $500, $3,500 is realized and possibly surpassed. And again, you're gonna have a lot better success doing this with a trained team than an untrained team. I want to read you a uh, short uh, bit of feedback we got from someone who was one of our, our testers in this program, Dr. Catherine in the Kitchener area. Uh, she writes, like many of my colleagues, life is busy and full. I love being with my practice member, helping impact your health, and also having quality time with my family and time for community service. But when it's time to bring on a new team member, the hiring and training processes are not my favorites. Recently, I hired a new chiropractic assistant and immediately enlisted the help of Dr. Tom's trainers, Shazzy and Bobby, to help my new assistant get started quickly and successfully. The CA wears many hats in the office, and I found the training to be comprehensive. The weekly calls and homework kept both the CA and myself focused and moving forward in the training process. As well, the trainings brought up good questions and conversations that have helped my CA and I enhance, solidify, enhance and solidify our relationship. Thanks, Dr. Tom, Shazzy, and Bobby for getting us started. This will be a banner year. And Mara, uh, a CA who recently completed our training, she writes this. I began the CA training shortly after starting my position as a chiropractic assistant. This is the first time I've worked in chiropractic care. My work history before was mostly at physiotherapy and massage therapy clinics. I did come with a base knowledge of how rehabilitation clinics work, even if I didn't quite understand chiropractic care at the time. This CA training program helped me grow into a better CA much faster than just learning my new position on my own as I went. The program was nicely balanced with information given, homework and tests, but what I enjoyed the most was the calls with our trainer, Shazia. She made the calls fun and it didn't feel like I was expected to know everything, but rather had a good support system that was teaching me ways to be a better CA. Shazia was very easy to talk to and I was never afraid to ask a question, even if I felt like it was a dumb one. She genuinely wants the CAs that she trains to be better at their position and I could tell she thoroughly enjoyed what she does as well. It was nice to be educated by someone who truly enjoyed their job and wasn't doing this training just because she had to. Thanks so much. So let's see what's included in our CA training solution. If you've been following along to this point, you can see the value of properly trained CAs. You can see how they can uh, increase the education component in your office. They can see how they increase the marketing and referral part, the third party endorsement. endorsement. You can see how they can take over tasks that you're likely doing. I mean, it's an absolute no brainer to have properly trained CAs. Really, the only question is, is who's going to do it? And my offering, if you're following along, is it's not the best use of your time to do that. You're better at building your business through marketing. You're better at building your business through training, uh, training yourself and empowering your clients and educating them. That's where the 
real uh, low hanging fruit is here. So in our training program, what's included? The certification includes 12 homework modules, 12 modules designed to take CAs um, from you know soup to nuts in terms of the uh, what it takes to be a rock star CA. There is one uh, a monthly accountability call with one of our CA trainers to customize the material to your office because every office is a little bit different. So we want to be able to customize it, right? There's unlimited email support to answer each and every question you or CAs have. And many docs want to be CC'd in all the correspondence. And our CA trainers are more than happy to uh, do that, right? Each module will be sent to your team on a bi-weekly basis, which we found is a really optimal amount of time to get through the training. We don't want to overwhelm the CAs, but we want to empower the CAs. And we found that on a bi-weekly basis, having a new module every two weeks works uh, optimally for most offices, right? You're going to receive a dedicated CA trainer for the full six months of the program. You can ask all the questions you need to get through the training successfully. After each module, there's a quiz to ensure accountability, ensure the training sticks forever. We wanted to ensure not only that people got the data, but that they use the data, they learn from the data, and a quiz is a great, a great way to facilitate that accountability. We also provide a lovely certificate to give your CA to be framed and hung in their office area with pride. Um, again, we want to increase the profile of CAs from receptionists to answer phones and book appointments to the true healthcare professionals you know, that they are. For those of you that are uh, on the webinar tonight or watching this recording in the first 24 hours, upon purchase of the program today, the first three of you are also going to receive uh, my healthcare in the 21st century DVD. Um, this is a program that I recorded many years ago. It's of my healthcare class, along with a PowerPoint presentation. So your CAs can model this to develop their own presentation. As we said, they are definitely the best person on the team to be doing these presentations. It's a $200 value, and it's going to be free to the first three offices who commit in the next 24 hours to investing in their CAs and investing in their impact on humanity and creating more revenue uh, for their offices in the process. The other bonus, I told you there's going to be bonuses. If you invest today and don't procrastinate, uh, we're also going to give you a new patient mystery call service, which is a $97 value on our website, right? And this is where one of our CA trainers will call in requesting a new patient appointment. The following day, they're going to cancel the appointment. And all the while, they have a, a proprietary checklist that we've created that they're grading your CA on how they're doing. So after the mystery call, you're going to receive a free follow-up call from our CA trainer. This has the scorecard, which gives the score that your CA uh, got for uh, the, the, the service that they provided. And the report of findings loaded with third-party unbiased feedback and suggestions and ways to grow. It's a great way to kick off uh, the training. And, you know, some people ask me, say, well, Tom, why do you do bonuses on your webinars? I do bonuses, quite frankly, it's, it's, you know, it's what's referred to as an ethical bribe. I want you to take action. I want you to grow your practice. I want you to get proper CA training. I want you to make a bigger impact in humanity. I want to see this stinking profession grow. And I contend that a really important way to do it that's undervalued and overlooked is getting proper CA training. So if giving away some products and services is going to help you, you know, pull the trigger, then by all means, it's the very least I could do because of the impact it can make on humanity. Now, here's the thing. Our trainers uh, are working literally with 19 offices as we speak. They've got the capacity to go to 25. In other words, there's six new offices that could start right, right now. So uh, if you want to get involved, you want, definitely want to be going because this training is going out to over 100 people. This training covers up to three CAs in your office. If you have more than three CAs, that's obviously a ton more work for our CA trainers. And each extra CA will be accommodated for only $150 for the entire uh, six-month program. So how much is the six-month program? Well, it's usually $17.95 plus tax. But for the next 24 hours only, we're dropping the price to $14.95. Again, why are we doing this? We want you to take action. We want you to have properly trained CAs. And let's do the math, gang, right? You're generating hundreds of dollars per hour. You're going to get six months of a professional CA trainer, unlimited email access, customization with uh, monthly voice calls to your team to make sure we're tweaking and customizing material for your office. You're going to get all that for the price of a few hours, two, three, four hours of your time. I tell you, we price this as a no-brainer. We want people to get the training, and this is the most effective way that we've found to be able to offer that for you. So again, as we said, first three offices are going to also get the bonus DVD. We're limiting this offer to six new offices. Uh, again, if we get more than six offices that are interested, uh, we'll just put the, the offices that don't respond quickly, that don't move their, their fingers, 
um, to the keyboards to, to book for the CA training and secure a spot. We're just going to put you on a wait list and uh, we'll be able to uh, uh, get in, in touch with you when we have an opportunity to uh, move forward. So limited time offer. Uh, it only lasts for 24 hours. Again, why do we do this? Let's be clear. This is a chance to get you to stop procrastinating and, and do what it is you know you should be doing. Investing in yourself. Investing in your team. I get people all the time at seminars when I'm speaking say, Tom, what should I be invested in? You should be invested in yourself. You should be invested in your team. You should be invested in your business. There's no place else you're going to get a better report, a better return on your money than investing in yourself and your team. What stocks, what bonds, what what, what GICs, treasury bills to offer? My God, folks, investing in yourself and your team and your business is where you're going to get the greatest ROI. If you're a sharp business person that's been around, you know that. So invest in your team and, and watch the return on investment grow as a result of that. All right? This is a little counter. It's kind of a cool thing my team put in here. So again, let's just review. It's a comprehensive 12-module program over six months, plus a bonus healthcare DVD to the first three offices who commit today and a new patient mystery call for all of those that invest. So again, it's only the first three offices that get the uh, healthcare in the 21st century DVD uh, with the uh, PPTs that go with that so that your CAs can model that and use that as an example of how to do that. I'll tell you another place people have used that, folks, is they'll take that data and they'll um, give it to their uh, advanced clients and progress reviews and say, hey, you know what? I've got this uh, um, information that was given to me by a friend of mine. And I'd like to get your feedback on how good you think it is about explaining chiropractic. You're getting total third-party endorsement for everything you're saying, and you're getting a more educated uh, practice member as a result. It's a win-win. Okay, so I contend this program is worth thousands and thousands of dollars and save time for the doc, which equals more patients adjusted and more new patients acquired. As I said, financially, we've made it a complete no-brainer, okay? So again, if you want to get started today, we're making it very easy. You can choose two ways to pay, $14.95 in full. Uh, and again, if you're not one of the first six offices, then we'll put you on a wait list. Or you can do three payments of $5.25. So you know, what that means is that for $525, you can get started today. And you don't have to pay again until November. So it's, it's, it's a really easy thing to get started on, you guys. Okay, So just let's put $525 in perspective. Okay. The ROI, the return on investment, is covered with one new patient. If your case average is on the lower end at $500, um, then it's, you're going to basically get uh, your complete return on your money with just one new patient. And, you know, if this training and your CA can't facilitate one new patient, perhaps you should be looking at uh, recruiting a new CA. Okay? Also note, for those of you that are on this webinar from uh, the U.S. or other jurisdictions, this is Canadian pricing. So, you know, particularly from America right now, the American dollar is kicking butt on the Canadian dollar, and there's a 25 to 30% exchange uh, factor there. So you could take another 25 to 30% off by the time the banks do their, their little exchange piece. So we're definitely seeing a lot of our U.S. brothers and sisters taking advantage of our Canadian pricing and getting involved in our programs and our, uh, our trainings. So how do you do this? You go to www.fullcirclecoachingandconsulting.com forward slash discount. Um, or there should be a, an offer button inside this presentation that you can click on. But it's really simple, fullcirclecoachingandconsulting.com forward slash discount, and there'll be a link there in the uh, email threads that will go out to you as well. Okay? This is going to take you to your CA training page created specifically for you. Big yellow button. We'll secure your spot at $14.95. And the blue text underneath those buttons and the pop-up on the bottom right are where you can start training right away for only $5.25 if you want to do it and pay a little bit more in the long run, but uh, get some uh, cash flow out now. Okay? Go through the short checkout process to ensure that you're one of the first six offices that secure the training at this discount. You get started right away. And you can do this training later on, folks, right? But you're just going to be paying the full $17.95, and you're not going to get the bonus of the uh, CA uh, mystery shopper call, and you're not going to get the bonus of the um, DVD healthcare in the 21st century as a way to help your CAs learn how to do a doctor support healthcare demo in your office, okay? Once you input your address, the correct tax will auto update. Again, international clients don't pay any tax. Canadians understand paying tax. We're the second most highly taxed nation in the world. When we receive a notification, the investment has been successfully processed. You'll receive an email within a few days, usually a few hours, but at least a few days from our CA trainers 
introducing themselves to you and your CAs to work out the logistics of the time. Bonus DVD for the first three will be in the hands of the mail person really shortly after that. And, and we have a money back guarantee on all of our programs at Full Circle. So we want to mitigate your risk. If for any reason you and your CAs are not completely satisfied with the training after the first two modules, you're encouraged to take advantage of our money back guarantee. Keep the content for the first two modules as our gift to you for the aggravation and frustration and get 100% of your money back. No questions asked, no strings attached, no arm twisting. Uh, we'll just apologize and give it back. We stand behind our products and our programs, you guys. And uh, as you can see by the testimonials we have for many programs, um, we do deliver a great service and we're very proud of that. Integrity and providing wow experiences for our clients are two of our values and we stand behind our program. So there's absolutely no financial risk to you whatsoever to take advantage of these bonuses and get moving uh, your fingers very shortly. We don't want your money invested in something that doesn't grow your practice. So if you're ready to create a rock star team that helps you build a great brand and get profitable, click the link and let's get started today, right? So again, quick recap, 12 modules, monthly calls, all the material, unlimited email support. They're sent bi-weekly. You have a dedicated CA trainer for six months. After each module, there's a quiz for accountability. You're CC'd if you want to be on all of the uh, emails that are sent to the team. And uh, this way, we can ensure that you're uh, completely on board with everything going on. It's going to be a nice professional training certificate of completion for your CA to have. First three offices, healthcare in the 21st century. Uh, first six offices, new patient mystery call. And this is, again, 300 bucks off the original retail price. You always, as a smart business person, want to be thinking about the ROI. And again, with just one new patient, you're going to be getting back uh, the, the monthly income that you're investing. And again, it's an investment, not an expense, because the increased uh, performance in your office is going to definitely pay for itself. And of course, we have a money back guarantee because we want to mitigate and, and, and basically take all of the risks away for you. Okay. So here's some questions to ask yourself. You're still sitting on the fence. You're with me this far. And you haven't pushed the button, I don't know why you haven't. But here's some questions to ask yourself. Where, what would your practice be like six months from now if you don't invest today? Is it going to be similar to how it is now or maybe even going a little bit farther down the hill? What would be happening if you had a magical tap you could turn on to bring in twice as many new patients every week because your CA is inspired, trained, empowered, and educated? Would your staff be able to handle it with a smile? Would they be able to motive, uh, activate all of the policy procedures and systems? And are they documented and reproducible for them to walk in and take ownership of the task, right? If you answered no, then how can you expect more patience than you can handle without this foundation in place? The universe never gives you more of something you're not prepared to handle. Money's a good example of this in many people's lives who don't have a strong foundation and principles in place. Don't put the cart before the horse. Let's get your team trained and ready to build your practice with you. Return on investment is covered with one new patient in the long term. So again, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and some seconds are ticking down. Let's get started. Go to fullcirclecoachingandconsulting.com forward slash discount. Go and click on the big yellow button. Be one of the first people to invest. Empower your team. And let's together make a bigger impact on humanity. Thanks for being on the webinar, folks. Thanks for uh, who you are and for the value that you bring to uh, humanity, uh, for the difference and the impact you're making in people's lives. It's been a pleasure to have you on tonight, and I look forward to working with you to help you um, make a bigger impact in humanity and in the process create more revenue. So everybody, enjoy your evening wherever you are, and I look forward to uh, helping you uh, expand your impact. Have a good night, everybody.